What'd you get? I got gummy sour worms. I want you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. Ooh, you know, that and we just sing I want along. Her. And I can't help but feeling just loving. Where are we? It's the movie theater. Movie theater, it's mommy daughter date day. <laughs> yep, we're going to see Disney Witch. The Disney Witch movies. Hey guys, we are out of the movie. Lila, was that fun? Mm -hmm. We went and saw Disney's Wish. Um, it was super cute. I liked it a lot. Did you like it? What was your favorite part? When she sang. Oh, yeah. The singing. The music was pretty good. I liked it. So Lila and I went on a little mommy-daughter date this morning. So we were a little rushed getting to the movie, so I didn't film much beforehand. Um, but we had a simple breakfast this morning. Lila and I went out to the first matinee of the day, so we were out bright and early. The movie theater was nice and quiet. There was only one other family there. And this is something that's brand new to us, right? This is the first time you and mom have ever gone on a mommy-daughter date, just the two of us to the movies. Lila's gone to the movies only a couple other times before, but she's getting so big, which has made my mama heart kind of sad lately but at the same time now we have a whole new world of things open to us now that she's bigger and can handle like going to the movies and all that kind of stuff so that's super exciting so we had a fun little mommy daughter date she did a daddy daughter date with Josh yesterday they did a Home Depot building craft day so it was my turn today and Josh is doing some one-on-one -on -one time with Nora. So I shared with you guys before the movie, we actually popped into Walgreens. I let Lila pick out a candy and a drink. A lot of times movie theaters don't have great options for like littler kids who don't drink soda or don't want an icy kind of things like that. So she wanted to pick up a juice, so she got that. I went ahead and picked up a diet soda. This is just a diet Dr. Pepper. I mean, what is mom life if you're not smuggling drinks and snacks into the movie theater with your kids, am I right? So I got a diet Dr. Pepper. I also grabbed some smart sweets to try. They're a little bit more of a W W friendly candy option. They were okay. They were great if I wanted to be staying on plan and just have a little like kind of candy moment at the movies. I liked the Swedish fish version better than the sour gummies. I love sour candy and they weren't sour enough and also they were a little bit hard and I don't know if that was maybe they were a little stale the package I got. They weren't my favorite but the Swedish fish were pretty good. So we went the candy route. Usually I am a great lover of movie theater style popcorn. Lila likes it a lot too but she actually wanted candy today and so if she was going to get something like that I didn't want myself to be tempted by movie theater popcorn although if you want to save up your points that's the best thing about WW is use them for what you want and just balance the rest of your day. However, using my points for that was not on top of my priority list today because what's daddy doing at home, Lila? Barbecuing. Barbecuing. Josh is making brisket in our smoker at home, so that's going to be dinner tonight. I'm also going to be making butternut squash mac and cheese, which is one of the kids' favorites and is a great side dish with it. So we're doing a little bit more of an indulgent dinner tonight, so... I didn't want to waste my points on popcorn. So yeah, it's been a lower point morning. I've just had breakfast and then our little snack here at the movie theater. I'm going to go home and make a low point lunch. We do need to run into the grocery store on the way home though, because Josh needs more wood for the smoker. So we're going to go do that and head home. Lila, is it your lucky day? What did we find? The cocoa beans. The cocoa bean pots. Want to do the experiment of making chocolate? I can't believe it! I can't believe it! <laughs> I one time saw that they had cocoa pods um, on one of my HEB trips. I told Lila about it, and she's been obsessed with finding them ever since. But they don't always have them in stock. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little quieter over here. Um, for reference and backstory about why Lila is so into the cocoa pods is she went to go see the stage musical production of what over Christmas with Gigi and Pop? Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, she saw the, the musical. musical. Yeah, she saw that over the holidays, my parents took her to go see Willy Wonka. And so now she's like, how do we make chocolate? So I guess we have a chocolate making experiment ahead of us on the channel. I'm all about a science experiment and hey, it's learning and baking and all sorts of fun activities in one go.
These next few clips were actually filmed yesterday. I made a double portion of a really great low point lunch. I'm having the leftovers today. I called this a potato bowl. It's roasted ranch seasoned air fried potatoes that I topped with a hearty mixture of sauteed onions, mushrooms, garlic, and used up some leftover rotisserie chicken breast. So the first thing I did was cube up some yellow potatoes. I made sure to weigh them out so I could accurately input the recipe into the WW plan by grams. Remember, this is going to be a double serving. So it'll be about 160 grams of potatoes per serving. I used a light spray of avocado oil and then seasoned with ranch seasoning and some salt, pepper, and garlic. Popped them in the air fryer for 12 minutes at 375 degrees. While the potatoes cooked, I diced up about a third of a yellow onion. And I also chopped an eight ounce container of white mushrooms into quarters. I like to leave mine a little thicker versus doing slices because the mushrooms have a nice meaty texture and I didn't want them to be cooked down so much that you couldn't taste them. Again, a little bit of avocado oil just to grease the bottom of my saute pan. I added first the onions, then a heaping spoonful of garlic, garlic with love always, and to your own personal taste. Once that cooked down for a couple minutes and they were translucent and fragrant, I added in my mushrooms. We had some rotisserie chicken the other night and I had about a half of a breast of one that was skinless left over. So I gave that a rough chop and after the mushrooms were cooked, added that to the pan just to warm through. I gave it a final seasoning with salt, garlic, and pepper just to taste. And by then, my ranch seasoned air fried potatoes were done. We can boost that ranch flavor a little bit by doing a little dollop of my homemade zero point Greek yogurt ranch dressing. I literally used like the last third of this Kirkland plain nonfat Greek yogurt container and I mixed in a ranch seasoning packet. I added a little bit of water just for consistency. It's zero points on the WW plan. And it's great making in a larger batch because we use this constantly. We dip veggies in it, we put it on salads, put it on wraps, I'm putting it on my potato bowl. She's cooking. Hi, Chef. Hi. Josh is finishing up the brisket outside. It's starting to look and smell really, really good. It's about 45 minutes to an hour from being ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and make our butternut squash mac and cheese. It's one of my girls' favorites. It's a great way to add some extra veggie into a meal if your kids are fans of mac and cheese. My girls love this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. So we're doing butternut squash mac and cheese on the side with some brisket and some steamed broccoli tonight for dinner. One of the things I've tried to do, especially on the weekends when we're home together as a family, is eat a meal as a family. Sit down, have that quality family time at the dinner table, and that means trying to all eat the same thing. If you guys have young kids or toddlers, you know that sometimes what you're wanting to eat is not always what they wanna eat. We do try and get our girls to eat and try a lot of new things and try what we're having too, but one of my favorite ways to do that is by serving something new along with something that's familiar. So butternut squash mac and cheese, something they know they like, broccoli, something they know they like. So they will for sure have something that they will like for dinner, even if they don't end up loving brisket, but they will both try some too. Brisket is definitely higher in point, but that's why I'm like pairing it with two healthy side dishes. Everything's fine in the right portion on WW, so that's what we're going with. And then Josh will also have leftovers for work this week and we'll have some to put in the freezer because it is a big piece of meat. We got a really good deal on it at HEB. It was only like $35 for that piece of brisket and it was like a 14 pound brisket. So that's usually something we only do when we have like family members over or friends over, but it was a great deal. So Josh is having fun doing that today and we'll go ahead and portion it and freeze it in the freezer for future meal uses. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle 
of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it Josh's brisket turned out great. I trimmed up some lean pieces and cubed them and then measured out seven ounces. So I was accurately counting my points, but with one serving of the butternut squash mac and cheese for 10 points, eight points for the brisket, and then a zero point side of steamed broccoli, this was a delicious dinner. After getting the kids through bath time and bedtime, I did make sure to take 10 minutes to get on my rebounder as well as an extra five minutes to stretch so I could fulfill my movement pillar goal for the day. Got my workout in. Wish I had a little longer after eating dinner, which was very delicious but very filling before jumping on a trampoline. But I knew if I didn't get it done now, I would not get it in tonight. So check that one's in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and freshened up for the night. Josh and I are gonna hang out, and I even have some points left for a little sweet treat. So the game is all about balancing on the weekend, especially those days where it's like the family's home, there's extra special things we wanna do. We wanna go to the movies and have snacks, or we wanna have dessert at night, or go out to eat. So it's just all about kind of balancing throughout the week and kind of pre-planning really makes a difference for me. I try to pre-plan out my days the night before and kind of just keep an eye on stuff as we go. I have definitely used up my weeklies this week with a dessert one night and then doing a bigger dinner another night. We did steak at home, so, but I still stayed on track. I just used my weeklies well and budgeted the rest of the week so I didn't go over. So today was a weekend day. I still managed to stay on track within my normal daily range of points. I didn't have any weeklies to dip into, so I made smarter choices. I did a low sugar candy option and a diet soda when we went to the movies. I still had a snack and a treat and enjoyed that movie date with Lila, but I made it work for where I was in my plan today. Thank you guys so much for following along a little how I do WW and my health journey on the weekend. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. And until next time, bye. bye.